Hi, my friend. Welcome back to our story reading class with Miss Anita. I am so happy to have you here today. In today's lesson, we are going to read again the story called The Mischievous Elf and the Candy Robot. After that, we are going to do comprehension activities about this story, which includes drawing a detailed picture and answering questions about the story okay in your story yesterday you read the, the silly spell casters you're going to read that story again and uh, draw pictures about it and also answer questions about it isn't it all right the mischievous elf and the robot in a sweet land called candyland there lived a mischievous elf called max max loved playing tricks and exploring the sugary forests. One sunny day, Max stumbled upon a candy robot. The robot was big and shiny, guiding a pile of candy. Max, being mischievous, decided to play a prank on the robot. He sneaked behind it and tickled its feet with a sugar stick. The robot jumped, surprised by the tickle. The robot, thinking Max was a thief, was, was a candy thief, swung its arm to stop him. Max dodged the swing and jiggled. The robot, the robot, now angry, beeped loudly. Max realized his prank had gone too far and apologized to the robot. I was just playing, Mr. Robot. <coughs> Sorry. I was just playing Mr. Robot. I won't bother you again. The robot calmed down and accepted Max's apology. It even shared some candy with Max. Max and the robot became friends and spent the day playing together in Candyland. They laughed and shared sweet treats. Mm. As the sun set, Max waved goodbye to his new friend, the candy robot. He learned that playing prank is fun, but it's important to be kind and apologize when needed. The end. What a beautiful story. Okay. I have already drawn my picture. Are you excited to see it? Drum roll, please. Okay, before I share with you my picture, what are the important things I should include in my picture? What's the setting? Candyland! How should Candyland look like? Maybe it has, maybe the walls are painted with candy, or there's candy everywhere. Okay? Alright? Oh, where's that picture? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What should I have? I should have, we are going to have a Candyland. Uh, we'll see lots of sweets in that setting. We, have, we must see an elf. What else? We have to see a robot in the picture, isn't it? Okay, all right. Drum roll, please. That's the picture. All right, let's see. If Mr. Nita drew a detailed picture, I think I did. This picture is telling the story. This is Max the Elf. This is the robot made of candy. This is Candyland, it's all pink, and there are candies everywhere. Ooh, Mr. Nita tried her best. Okay, now we are going to answer. We have drawn the picture for your case. You may choose to pause the video and draw the picture, okay? All right, or you may choose to first go through the lesson and then draw your picture afterwards. Okay, who is the main character and what does he love doing? Oh, we go back to the main story. Who is the main character of this story? In a sweet land called Candyland, there lived a mischievous elf named Max. Now, when they talk about main character, they mean the person or the animal that take most parts in the story. The person or the character whose name appears a lot of time in the story. And which character is that? That is Max. So, who is the main character? 
Max is the main character. And what does he love doing? He loves playing tricks and exploring sugary forests. So I am not going to write because it's very tricky to write from this angle. But I would answer this question as Max is the main character of the story and he loves to play tricks and exploring sugary forests. I got the answers from the story. So your answers are coming from the story. You have to go back and read again if you're not sure. Okay. Question two says, what did Max do when he found a candy robot guarding a pile of a uh, pile of candy? What did he do? Let's go back to the story. One sunny day, Max stumbled upon a candy robot. That means he came across a candy robot. The robot was big, shiny, guarding a pile of candy. Max, being mischievous, decided to play a prank on the robot. He sneaked behind it and tickled its feet with its feet with a sugar trick with with a sugar stick so what did max do when he found a candy robot guiding a pile of candy he played a trick with it he played a prank with it by what did he do max played a prank on the robot by tickling his its feet with a sugar stick. What did Max do? He played a prank on the robot by by using a sugar stick on its feet. Did the robot like that? No, he didn't. Why did the robot swing its arm at Max? Why did the robot swing its arm at Max? So we are going to go back to the story and scan through and see. Can we see a part where they say the robot swung its arm yeah the robot the robot thinking max was a candy thief swung its arm to stop him so why did the robot swing its arm the robot swung its arm at max thinking that thinking that he's a candy thief so he wanted to stop him as they were protecting himself like come on go away so why did the robot swing its arm at its arm at Max? The robot swung its arm at Max to stop him from stealing the candy because it thought Max is a candy thief. If I was a robot, I would think the same to be honest. How did Max and the robot's relationship change by the end of the story? Hmm, let's see. Let's go towards the end and see. Max and the robot became friends and spent the day playing together. That's our answer. How did the how did Max and robot's relationship change by the end of the day? They became friends and spent the whole day playing together. That's it. So all your answers are coming from the story. You just have to read through and say, hmm, where did I see that? Okay, all right. Now pause the video and read your story again. No, pause the video. Yes, please. Pause the video and read your story. Which story are you reading today? You're reading the, the spell, the silly spell casters, okay? After that, you're going to draw a beautiful picture about this story. Then you're going to answer questions about this story. All your answers are coming from here. All right, pause the video and have a go. Once you're done, you're going to keep your book in a safe place. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.